extends U.S. $50 million line of credit to Guyana for East Bank Road expansion. GPHC receives $11 million ambulance to enhance emergency medical response. Local government ministry employees reflect on 2014 successes and challenges. And cabinet gives approval for the appointment of cricket ombudsman. This is GDN News Capsule. I'm Janelle Carter. Good evening. President Donald Ramatar on Thursday held fruitful bilateral discussions with Indians Prime Minister Narendra Modi following the inauguration of the 13th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas Conference in India. The Prime Minister also informed President Ramatar that India would grant a line of credit of US $50 million for the East Bank Damarara Road expansion, as well as funds in the amount of US $8 million to assist in the acquisition of a ferry vessel. The Indian government will also work with the Ghana government in a pilot project on renewable energy using a rice husk gasifier. Meanwhile, President Ramatar was among 15 non-residential Indians who received the Pravasi Bharatiya Salmon Award. The president is on a six-day official visit to India. The Ministry of Local Government and Regional Development held its third annual staff retreat under the theme Moving Forward in 2015 with Renewed Purpose. This two-day event, which commences on Thursday, is aimed at providing a forum for staff to make presentations for examination and discussion, their achievements and challenges in 2014, and their plans for 2015. So one of the first things I want to do is to urge you to examine and to see the team has not been a set of words pulled out from a hat or extracted from the dictionary but carefully put together to reflect the purpose of this two-day engagement. The minister also emphasized the need for collaboration between the ministry and regional democratic councils, municipalities, neighborhood democratic councils, community development councils, and other sector ministries to pursue common goals. He noted the importance of accountability and transparency, which he said should be high on the agenda for 2015. As the government continues in their efforts to improve the quality of health care services provided to citizens, the Ministry of Health on Thursday handed over an ambulance to the Georgetown Public Hospital's emergency response team. The ambulance was procured at a cost of $11 million and serves to enhance the services provided by the Emergency Medical Response Unit. This team has been complementing the services offered at the hospital over the past year. It was set up since February 2014 after the technicians underwent training in emergency response. Members have thus far responded to approximately 3,000 emergency calls coming out from various regions and districts in the country. Head of the Presidential Secretariat, Dr. Roger Luncheon, during his post-Cabinet media briefing on Wednesday, announced that Cabinet has given its approval for the appointment of a cricket ombudsman. The cricket ombudsman was appointed by Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, Dr. Frank Anthony. Dr. Winston McGowan is the first cricket ombudsman to be appointed to Guyana, subsequent to Cabinet's approval. This post is new to Guyana and is a feature of the recently enacted Cricket Administration Law, passed in Parliament and assented to in August 2014. Among his duties, the Ombudsman is responsible for election of the offices of the recognized cricketing organizations of Guyana in accordance with the provision of the Cricket Administration Law. Cabinet Secretary Dr. Roger Luncheon on Wednesday told the media that a consortium involving a local and overseas firm is engaged with the government on the way forward, essentially to ensure the serviceability of the 560 kilometers of fiber optic cable from Brazil. He pointed out that while there have been significant defects from Letem, Region 9 to Georgetown, they have to be corrected for the bandwidth being purchased from Brazil to be made available for use in Guyana. Dr. Luncheon noted that whilst the PPPC administration has not matured the project team into a management one, vigorous activities are being undertaken currently in putting a management structure for the fiber optic network. Thank you for watching this Genie News Capsule. Do join us again. I'm Janelle Carter. Good night. <laughs>